hanging. Or not hanging yeah. as the case may be. Okay. Oh, can we say that on TV? Oh, Brad, you can't say that on TV. No, you can say that all right, but you can't say that the owner of the TV station is a fat prick. <laughs> Oh yeah, gee, we've got a wacky fun-filled audience in here tonight. But seriously, folks, we really should thank the boss for supporting this show and the youth of Australia. <laughs> woo! Yeah! yeah. Woo. Oh, right, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the boss, uh, all right. it's all yeah. the way. Hey, yeah, uh, uh, woo, uh, gee. Good afternoon, sir, how may I be of service? I'd like to borrow $56 billion to speculate on the Singapore futures market. Oh, fine. No problem with that. You just have to fill out one application what? form. What? Oh, just a little joke. Oh. How would you like it? Fifties, hundreds or thousands? Hundreds, I think, yes. Okay, there's no problem with that at all. Here we are. You Thank go home you. with that then. See you later. Okay. Have, have a nice day. day. Bye. Next. Oh. <laughs> Next, yes. Hi, can I please take out four dollars? Four dollars? Yeah, four dollars, that's all I've got. You need know, just four dollars. Um, yes, that's fine, but there's a three dollar sixty charge for that. Three dollars sixty? Yeah. Why? Well, there's a two dollar um, over the counter transaction. Two dollars, but I had to come in here. You are the ones that made me come in here because I can't go to outside because there's not enough money. Well, there's What's the rest for? The rest? Well, the rest is for you being poor and scummy and a burden on the economy. Get out of here and stop sticking the place God. out. Elf. My 20 cents should be my 35 cents the way prices are going these days. I mean, Generation X should be generation expensive. My can oath. I mean, take Pills, for instance. I know you do, Bruce. Yes! They used to be 250. What are they now? 360. 360. Good on you, Joffa. What else is there? There's Alan Brown with his fucking prices on the trams, trains, and buses. Buses! I mean, generation expensive shits me. Prices just going up and up and up and up and up all the fucking time. For example, I would not have been able to purchase the latest Chucky Starfish without Mum's help. You weren't going to mention that? No, Bruce, I'm talking about the band. Oh, just like Mum helped me with the new Pearl Jam album. That's right. Fucking brilliant. Look, generation expensive is fucked. That's right. Bruce, have you got my Gatorade and shapes? Scoffed them. Woofed them. Doing them tomorrow. Generation X. <laughs> yeah, Pearl Jam, Chalky Starfish, Henry Rollins, Phil Collins, Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, Brad, you're so cool. You know all the hot bands. But you forgot Nirvana, dick snap. Oh, oh can we say that on TV? <laughs> um, anyway, getting serious for a moment. Today, one year ago, the world lost a poet and a dreamer, Mr. Kurt Cobain. Yep. It just blows you away. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm really sorry. Good one, Brad. Ooh. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> anyway, tonight we've got some great things for you. We've got Murray Fields, Child by Video, Phil Collins, and later on we'll be crossing live to the Nirvana Street Vigil. Hang ten, dude. In yeah. fact, I think we're crossing there right now. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Hey, man. The things that happen on live TV. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, it gets pretty wacky. But now, let's cross to our man on the scene, Sam Shirtlifter. Mm. Yeah, like totally thanks Brad and all that. Here we are in sunny Clayton, Australia's grunge capital, bringing you live from the Brown Thunder satellite, some young men and women at a vigil. For the Poet Laureate of Generation X, the spokesperson for angst-ridden youth everywhere, Mr Kurt Cobain, who this day, one year ago, tragically took his own life. My God, someone saw on the Brown Thunder! That's not very understanding. Okay, I'd like to introduce the home viewers to these young grungsters here. We have Kurt, Courtney and young Francis. Um, so guys, how does it feel to be alive in 95 when your hero Kurt 
is lying dead in the ground. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi. Not bad. Yeah. Hi. <coughs> Oh, 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 no, I mean, oh, it's like, it's times to stop. Life's so pointless now. Oh. Yeah, like, Kurt, Kurt was a new messiah, as prophesied in, in the New Testament, you know, like, yeah. Right. Yeah, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I reckon he died before his time, you know, it was yeah. just not a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, right on, guys, so, like, where were you when Kurt actually died? Uh, I think I was in my father's sack. Oh, that's yeah. sack. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, I, I was actually I was listening to Triple J. You know the uh, the Youth Network. Oh yeah, well, right. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And cool. um, at, at the same time, I was writing um, angst written poetry to Dolly magazine. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great you but I, doing something. Yeah. yeah, I had to stop though because like I couldn't I couldn't think of something that rhymed with persecuted. You know. So yeah. You know, electrocuted maybe. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, oh, I was so wasted, man. I was oh, it. Oh, like drugs, yeah, I understand. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was yeah. Sit, drugs, yeah. sitting in, mum, oh, in, in, my, in my room and. Um, Don't worry about the joint, this is public TV. I was watching Tally and eating barbecue shapes. They were just. Oh, the Crave Crusher! Oh, barbecue I, It took me about five minutes yeah. to find where they were, but. Yeah. Oh, were they on top of your cupboard? And so there we have it from the horse's mouth, the voice of Generation X expressing itself. Excuse me, um, did you attend the legalised marijuana rally yesterday? Um, no, I didn't actually. No. Uh, why was that? Um, well, I went to the uh, anti-Nazi rally earlier and I was smashed in the face by the megaphone. See? Five stitches. Nasty. Excuse me, sir, did you attend the legalised marijuana um, rally yesterday? Ah, oh, couldn't be fucked. Oh, I hate hippies. What do you mean you hate hippies? You know how the saying goes, fertilise the bush, days in a greening, fucked a lot of them. Fair enough then. Um, excuse me, young man, did you attend the legalised marijuana rally yesterday? Ah, uh, no. Why's that? <laughs> Me undies too tight. No. <laughs> okay. I, I, I was just gonna say, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say I was too big. No, that one's not on the list. Yeah, no. That's not on the list. Um, excuse me, young man, um, why didn't you attend the legalised marijuana y rally yesterday? Too big. Why didn't you go? My undies are too tight. Um, excuse me, young man, did you attend the legalised marijuana rally yesterday? Oh, no, I was afraid I'd be misrepresented by the media. That's the problem with this Generation X youth. No trust in authority. I'll be off. Professor Noam Chomsky today announced at a press conference in Melbourne that economic rationalism, the bogeyman of our society, is to be officially abandoned. Speaking on behalf of the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund and stacks of multinational corporations, Mr Chomsky revealed that these bodies finally acknowledged the full hardiness of their theories and the impact of these theories on 98% of the world's population and basically they're pretty damn sorry. Sorry. Uh, all the billionaires got there by robbing public funds through a technique called privatization. Privatization means you take off public resources and you give them to your friends at a very low cost uh, and that's economic rationalism. The bodies will introduce a new system of social and economic justice and equality never before seen in the history of the world. No. Beginning with the scaled payouts to all people disenfranchised by world scheme economics policies. That's 98% of them. The payouts alone are expected to cost somewhere in the low 19 figure. Think how many O's that is. But in the words of one smiling executive, the customer must always come first, regardless of the cost. Regardless of the cost, Mr Packer. The chain is believed to be inspired by a conversation overheard in a Brunswick Street cafe between two members of the Young Marxist Communist Youth International Alliance, or the YMCIA, to those close to them. A bank clerk named Stuart passed the content of this conversation on to his supervisor, and the rest writes itself. Good going, Stewie. Chomsky, a long-time critic of such organisations, has agreed to speak on their behalf, as long as they're cleaning up their act. A lot of cleaning you need. Ajax yeah. galore. And after proposing key changes and seeing them enacted over a period of months, Chomsky is given the green light and looks forward to a brighter future, where the only writing and thinking he will need to do will be in his beloved field of linguistics. Linguistic, idiot. Anyway. Extensive research indicates that Professor Chomsky has gained no more advantage financially than anyone else on the planet. So... Got to colour out. I've done it.
And to think I called you stupid, I'll take it all back. Oh, I can't get some of the big words, but I can get a colour out. Well, you're doing better than me. You gotta know how to dress them. How to impress them. Nowhere to hide the kids. In the parking lot, you never hold your bladder. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for toilets. When the day is done, well, I was down, down to see go. I was feeling fine, but I paid too much to be for a glass of wine. So I got in my car and I drove it through the window. Now I'm doing two years. I'm a fucking guy. You gotta know how to dress. And we're back up that minor little technical glitch. Yeah. <laughs> now, our next guest tonight is an eminent New Zealand psychiatrist who's going to tell us all about the relationship which implicitly and explicitly exists between firearms and male phallic imagery. That's right. Dicks and guns. Oh, can we say oh. that on TV? I don't know. Can we? Oh, I'm not sure either. <laughs> I'm not sure. But we have Dr. Helmut Scad, direct from the Motor Schooner University, to discuss this somewhat below the belt phenomena and its relationship to the voice of a generation. Let's have a warm welcome. Yeah. Woo! Right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's hear it for the man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Generation X. Yeah. All right. Yeah. G'day, people of Australia. I'm here to talk about the link between dicks and guns. As you said, <laughs> lovely expression, I like it. So, why did, why did Kurt Cobain die? Well, it's not so simple an issue as your question may imply. Um, Mr Cobain, like thousands of other young male suicides, is somewhat indebted in his deceasedness to an obsession with his own sexual organs. Huh? Now look, before you laugh, <laughs> let me explain. Um, the link between guns and phallic imagery has been long established in the rock music tradition. Yeah, One only has yeah. to look at the lyrics of Paul Stanley from Kiss. Yeah, man. Yeah, no yeah. place to hide, baby. No place, place to, to run. run. Yes. You pull Put the, the trigger, trigger on my... Love gun. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so do, you, do you see Kirk Cobain's guitar as being like a representation of blatant male phallus? No, not in itself, not at all, no. no. No? Well, um, it's probably believed that the lyrics of Smells Like Teen Spirit yeah. are a clear communication to a directionless Generation X who adored him like a god. Do you believe this is right? Look, girly, I didn't hear one mention A of cocks, B of guns. How the hell am I supposed to answer that question? Well, <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> okay, right on. We'll be back, Helmet Scabs has we'll been be on, back. and we'll be there, we'll be Stay back. back. Come on, Barry, let me drive, come on. Piss off, I'm not letting you drive. I've oh. seen those TAC ads. Everyone knows women cause car yeah, accidents. Yeah, you probably changed your tape and we'll all yeah. die. Oh, shut up, Gary, you fucking idiot. What would you, you know? God, you're a bastard. What would you fucking right. know? You right. Why these guys? Why this town? Why'd they build a giant earthworm here? Why am I wearing this hat? Barry, man, he shouldn't have been driving. He was legless. Oh, Jesus, sorry. When are people gonna learn? It's just not worth it. TAC spent $30 million on their scare campaign. You can't go out and do it yourself. You'd be a bloody idiot. So you think that the lyrics of Eddie Vedder are some sort of homoerotic message to gun lovers? 
<laughs> you don't get a deep voice like that drinking yogurt, you know. What, come again? Apparently you can actually, once, then again, then again, so I'm told. Look, I don't see what any of this has got to do with Kurt. I mean, here you come on with all your pinko intellectual crap, just saying all this shit, and, and everyone, everyone knows that when he died, he left a, a huge gulf in people's lives. I mean, I mean, poor Francis, poor Courtney. What's with mentioning the broad? The girl had nothing to do I, with it. Look, I, look, I, Kurt was thinking of a man's okay. willy in his mouth when it's he died. Okay. That's, ask that's you. not true. Okay. Shut up! Okay. Willy, 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 will